Adams, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. I'm sitting here holding an Ovation guitar. This one is an Ovation Celebrity, a model CC28. You can see it's a very nice looking little guitar. It's almost like brand new. I believe it's a 2009 model, so it's about 10 years old. But I don't see any big scratches on it at all. Very light, very, very light scratches, if any. And, uh, you know, it's just like all ovations. Of course, this is a shallow body, I would call it. And it's acoustic electric, as you can see there. And here's the tail end there. And the, yeah, there's the plug right there. And there's the peg head. So it's a nice looking little guitar. Um, actually, I hadn't even noticed how nice the sound hole is, all the detail around the sound hole. And here's what she sounds like. Anyway, that's what she sounds like. That's just some rattling that I do on there. I don't play one very well. Uh, very, very nice guitar. The only problem, if you want to call it a big problem, it is the action. The action's a bit high. The owner called it crazy high. I wouldn't go quite that far. Um, I've lowered it a little bit. It's got a weird saddle on it. It's The problem with this saddle is that it's built into the pickup, so it's not an easy saddle to cut down. You have to cut it off of the top to cut it down. I cut it down about, oh, 20 thousandths or so, and that lowered the action about 10 thousandths here. The action's still a little bit high here, which I will go ahead and lower some more, but, um, you know, right now the action at the 12th fret is about 110 thousandths, which is a bit high. If it was down to 100 thousandths, that wouldn't be too bad. It'd be on the high edge, but, you know, it wouldn't be terrible. I'm certainly not going to do a neck reset on it, which, uh, you know, it's right on the edge of needing one. That's to be perfectly honest. But I think this saddle can be cut down a little bit more yet. So what I'll do is... Uh, adjust the action a little bit more. Uh, it's not going to be perfect action, but it'll be pretty good. The key is you have a chance to win this guitar. Uh, it's just my way of saying thank you to all of you for being so nice to me. This guitar was provided by Mr. John Jenicek. Uh That's how I'm pronouncing it. I hope I didn't butcher your name too bad there, John. But John is a nice fellow. He's uh, sent me some other instruments to repair over the years. Uh, he just said he hoped I could find something nice to do with it. Well, the, I think this is the nicest thing I could do with it would be to give it away to one of my wonderful viewers. I'm going to give you a bit of trivia here and the very first person to email me with the answer to the trivia will win this guitar. So what is the bit of trivia that you have to be able to define? Well, I'm going to play a passage here on the mandolin. It's a passage that you've heard in a song that I have played on some of my videos over the years. And uh, the first person to identify correctly the song title uh, that this passage belongs to wins that guitar. So here is the passage. So if you recognize that, be the first one to email me. Now don't put it in the comments. Be sure that you email me with the proper song title and you will win that guitar. Be sure to provide a good shipping address with your entry. Now the way you'll know that someone has won it is that I'll put a comment at the top of the video that says we have a winner and when you see that comment then there's no point in submitting any more entries thank you very much <laughs>